This is the last video about Mac apps you will ever have to watch. These 10 apps are, in my opinion, the ones which I use the most on my Mac. Most of them are free, but for the ones that aren't, I will also introduce you to a free alternative that can probably get the job done just as well. For every mentioned app, I will leave a link for it in the video description, so sit back, Relax and let me show you 10 best apps for your Mac. Do you find it very annoying that Mac still doesn't have native window manager? If so, the Loop app can solve this exact problem. It's free open source window manager with really cool window snapping previews and animations. So it really looks like a native Mac window manager. You can activate it by holding down the globe key, which you will find in the bottom left corner on your Mac's keyboard. The circle should appear and now you just have to drag the mouse to the position where you would like to snap the window. It is that easy and you can also just drag the window to the edge of the screen and the window should snap as well. Of course you can change the look of the circle and the window preview in the settings of the app and that is pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, if you like the wallpaper on my desktop, then check out my Breeze wallpaper pack by clicking the first link in the video description. Have you ever wanted to download a video from YouTube only to find yourself on some shady internet downloader with a ton of ads? Because this is exactly what I used to do to download YouTube videos. However, not anymore, because I found an app called ClipGrab open source video downloader app which is free to use and it also supports Windows and Linux. Heck, it is even very easy to use. Just open ClipGrab on your Mac and copy the link from the video you want to download. ClipGrab should automatically detect the title of the video and the link. Then you can select various options for the format of the video and the quality settings. Once you have all the settings dialed in, click on grab this clip button and that's how you download videos using ClipGrab. Have you heard about Notion? Please let me know in the comment section. It's basically an all-in-one app for organizing notes, tasks and projects. And apparently it's also becoming known as the second brain app. Well, they've recently launched a brand new addition called Notion Calendar. And yes, it's a calendar app, it's got a sleek user-friendly design and it's completely free to use. Plus, it's loaded with some really cool features like syncing with your existing Notion workspace and linking multiple accounts. You'll find the Notion Calendar icon in the menu bar displaying the current day and your upcoming events. Overall, it's a fantastic calendar app and that's about it for the Notion Calendar. Oh, and if you're interested, I've already made a video about Notion, which you can check out by clicking the link in the video description. And now let me show you the new way of how you can browse the internet. Let me introduce to you the Arc browser by Browser Company. Arc is a unique browser with the tabs on the left of the screen. You probably won't find these tabs appealing for the first week of using the Arc browser, but believe me, once you get used to the tabs being on the left, it actually is like night and day. It also has spaces, for example, you can create a space for your personal internet browsing and then one for the work. Arc syncs all of your tabs to your phone Arc app or if you're using Windows to the Windows version of the app, Android app is coming soon though. Now Arc is a Chromium browser, so you also get all the benefits of installing extensions but also some drawbacks because it's more resource heavy and it will use more battery. But with all of these cons, I think it's totally worth trying. And did I mention that you can also change the Arc browser icon? However, you will need to refer some of your friends to unlock more icons. You will find my referral link in the video description below, so please use it because it's completely free. And now let's talk about audio recording and the tool which I'm using right now for recording this voiceover. A great open source app Audacity is apparently the world's most popular audio editing and recording app, at least this is what they have written on their website. It supports macOS, Windows and Linux operating systems and it is also very easy to use. First click on audio setup on top. Then select playback device and select the device to hear your audio recording from, like MacBook Pro speakers for example. Then click on recording device and pick your microphone. After this configuration you can start recording your voice by clicking the red button on the left. After you've recorded your voice, you can edit it and add some effects like compressor and normalization. You can also remove any unwanted noise in your recording by clicking effects and select noise removal and repair. Do you ever find a really low resolution image for which you wish it would be more HD? 
Did you know that you can upscale it by using Upscale, a free and open source desktop application that lets you upscale your low resolution images using advanced AI models, available on Mac, Windows and Linux, and now let me show you how it works. This is the image of a Shrek, which I'm going to upscale with Upscale program. Once you have it open, you will select here, select image and pick whichever image you want to upscale. And then here under the step two, we have a model to select. Here we have general photo. And then at the bottom, you also can use digital art model. But here are some of the models which you can choose from. You can also do double upscale, but keep in mind that this would cause performance issues on some Macs and then at the bottom we also have image scale you can also increase this to 16 times but again this will cause performance issues then you can select here the output folder and then you just need to press on upscale button and now here we can see before and the after so this is the before and this is the after the upscale now hear me out, I own a Mac and an Android phone, so AirDrop doesn't work for me. However, I found a great alternative in the form of the open source local sand app. It seamlessly transfers files between my Mac and Android phone and vice versa. If you find yourself in a similar situation owning a Mac alongside an Android phone or an iPhone with a Windows computer, I highly recommend giving local sand a try. The only caveat compared to AirDrop is that both devices need to be connected to the same network or you can simply use your phone's hotspot. From now on, local send is my go-to for file transfers. Have you ever been in a situation where your MacBook's display isn't bright enough? If so, this is where you can use a free app which will increase your screen brightness called Brightintosh. Now, Brightintosh enables your MacBook Pro to use the increased brightness of its Liquid Retina XDR display. By default, this is only possible when displaying HDR content. It supports MacBook Pros with XDR Retina displays with M1 chips up to M3 chips and it supports Pro Display XDR as well. However, by using this application, user takes full responsibility for any problems that arise from the use of the software. Next app is a really cool one and it actually fixes all the issues with your $10 mouse while using a Mac. Now the app isn't free, it costs $3, but I think it's actually worth it. However, before paying, you can try it out for 30 days. Now the free alternative would be an app called Linear Mouse, but keep in mind that it isn't as feature rich as the paid one I mentioned. With Mac Mouse Fix, you can customize scrolling and assign actions for different buttons on your mouse, which is pretty cool. Now you probably heard about parallels to virtualize windows. But the drawback is that it's paid and it's actually quite expensive. Now, if you want to virtualize Windows for free, you can use VMware Fusion Pro. This is the app which I use all the time when I need to use Windows for work. It works surprisingly well and it also supports 3D acceleration. It supports many operating systems and all are quite easy to install. Now, a few days ago, VMware was actually purchased by Broadcom and you will have to create an account on their website to download VMware Fusion Pro. Now, I found a really good guide on 9to5Mac on how to install Fusion Pro 13 on your Mac and we'll leave a link for it in the video description. So make sure that you check it out. Now, with that said, these are 10 of my most used apps on my Mac. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you can like this video as well. For every app mentioned in this video, I will leave a link for it in the video description and if you are interested in my Breeze wallpaper pack, please check it out by clicking the first link down below. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.